This is Apollo Saturn launch control. We've just passed the three-minute mark. We've had the firing command. That's the signal that the automatic sequence is now in. And the rest, the remainder of the count, will be handled by the master computer here in the firing room as uh, various of events click off leading up to the ignition of the five engines in the first stage of the Saturn V at the zero, uh, with liftoff at the zero mark in the count. The actual ignition of those five engines will come at uh, 8.9 seconds in the count. We'll have a report of all engines running at the two-second mark. Uh, at that time, uh, and over the next two seconds, those engines will be uh, specially checked to assure that we have proper thrust. Once that occurs, we will get commit, meaning that the hold-down arms can release, and we will get liftoff of uh, the Saturn V launch vehicle atop seven and a half million pounds of thrust. We're now coming up toward the two minute mark in the count at this point, the tanks in the vehicle pressurizing. Two minutes and counting. Our status board indicates uh, here in the control room that all aspects uh, involved are uh, ready. Tom Stafford has just reported back uh, thank uh, that they want to thank everybody for all the help. We're now at T-minus one minute, 45 seconds, and counting. We'll go on internal power with the launch vehicle at the 50-second mark. At 17 seconds in the count, the guidance system goes internal. This is guidance reference release. We already have the proper flight azimuth in. Now 90 seconds and counting. Now 90 and counting. The astronauts have turned off their ground communication at this time. However, they are on uh, VHF and, of course, the S-band circuits, as well as the special astronaut communication circuit. One minute, 12 seconds, and counting. The vehicle tanks beginning to pressurize at this time. Our status board indicates that the third stage tanks are now pressurized. We're coming up on the 60-second mark. 60 seconds and counting. We are go for a mission to the moon at this time. The second stage tanks now pressurizing, and we're coming up on the power transfer. 50 seconds and counting. We have now switched to internal power satisfactorily on the batteries uh, of the first stage, the, all three stages of the Saturn V vehicle. 40 seconds and counting. Tom Stafford making a final check of his computer. The vehicle, uh, all uh, stages pressurized at this time. We're waiting for the swing arms to come back. One uh, should be coming back at this time, a second one at 17 seconds. Tom Stafford reports they are go. We're coming up in the 20-second mark. T-minus 20 seconds and counting. 17 seconds and counting. Guidance internal. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. We have ignition sequence start. Engines on. 5, 4, 3, 2, our engines running. Launch commit, lift off. We have lift off 49 minutes past the hour. Staff will be forced to back to starter. The tower is clear. Copy, Tom.
Dan Mark, code one Charlie, you listen to me. Go for staking, Ken. Back in board. Rock, copy, Tom. EDS off, Ken. Houston, at five minutes, you're all go. All your systems are looking great. Roger, right, five minutes, ten is go. All right, you're right on the track. All right, Roger, Charlie. Houston coming up on six minutes, you're looking beautiful. Six minutes, turn over to stand on, pitch it up. Let's go. Well done, let's go. Pitch through, let's go. You have to, you got them all done. Pitch through.
Grant, Houston, uh, coming up on seven minutes. You're all go. We have nominal uh, level sense arm 8 plus 1-5, S2 cutoff 9 plus 1-1. Looking great here. You're looking beautiful. Okay. 